Hi, I'm Mr. Miyagi and this is Mr. Miyagi's Workshop. Uh, a little update today on uh, the shovel head, what's going on with it. Um, I spent most of the day cleaning parts and making sure that everything is good and then I also worked on um, putting the flywheels back into the case well, at least one side so we'll go over there and I'll show you what I've done I'm done with that and yes I uh, trimmed up a bit the big scraggy mustache is gone um, I tried trimming up you guys out there with beards and mustache knows where you go too far and, and then stuff happens. So let's walk over to the other side over there and we'll look at the, the case with the flywheel in. So what I did uh, is that I pressed in new Timken bearings. Now these are the old ones. This presses against the flywheel and then you have a spacer that goes in between and then the other one is pressed on this way. I also replaced the races and everything. They were in pretty good shape, um, but I just wanted to take it one more step to make sure that everything was good. On the other side, you get this set up. So on this right-hand side of the case here, um, I want to replace these uh, the rollers bearings here and I thought I'd ordered the right one and what they sent me from the company uh, they sent me one of these uh, SNS style which might work but I have to do a little bit of modification to it and this is basically designed for an Evo motor um, I don't want to go that route I mic these bearings and everything. They look good, but since I'm replacing the Timpkins on the other side, I thought I might as well just go ahead and size these and uh, the race in the case, this case right here. I've already kind of honed that a little bit. Um, but my bearings will be in Monday and then I can finish putting this together and then we can get to replacing the wrist pin uh, bushings and such. These aren't bad, but I would prefer to replace them. So like I said, um, I cleaned a lot of these parts and pieces here. Uh, I've got the new uh, pistons and cylinders in and I'm going to do a leak test later on on the valve area here just to see whether I need to pop them apart or not and fix them. And uh, with uh, hopefully with the bearings coming back for the right side, I'll get that together and do the wrist pins. And then this can go the rest of the way back together again. But we're off to do another uh, one of our gambler runs. Uh, it's going to be over on the peninsula, and it's called the Satchquatch Run, number three. And uh, we'll be doing that one this coming up. We'll probably take off tomorrow and try to find some dispersed camping and then meet up with everybody on Saturday. But it should be fun doing that. And then hopefully Monday... They promised me to have the bearings for the right hand side and uh, lately it's been kind of hard to get parts and stuff you know why but um, I want to get that going through and that back together again and maybe get that motor back in there in the bike in a couple of weeks hopefully uh, if I can get all the stuff but like I'm gonna do a like I said I'm gonna do a leak test on the heads I thought about pulling them apart and then doing a valve grind on them if need be uh, or just do a good lap in uh, which I've done in the past just lap the valves back in check the valve guys and such but like I want to do now is I'm going to do a leak test and see how it works. 
Oh, you want to know how to do that, huh? Okay, hang on. Okay, we're just going to do a simple little test. Uh, what I've done is I've put the spark plugs in. And if you want to find out whether your valves are leaking, you can just, I'm using, what I'm using here is some diesel that I had in the shop. And you fill that up so the spark over top the valves. I Why I'm using diesel, because I have some. And then you let it sit. And if you come back and it's gone, then the valves aren't seated. That's about as simple as that you're going to get. I'll come back here in a little bit and we'll see where it's at. Alrighty, it's been over an hour and the uh, levels of this haven't dropped any and I can't see any indication in either of the port uh, of this leaking through. So I think we're good to go here. So what I'll do is I'll suck this out, clean these up, and uh, we'll go from there. I also want to show you what I found why the engine locked up. Um, I was kind of mistaken a little bit until I really started getting into it, and I will show you over at the other bench. Okay, I originally thought uh, this little piece got jammed up at the base over there, but after further investigating, I found this spot in here to where it looks like it may have jammed up between the flywheel and the case here because this is fairly close tolerances in between here on the case. I think that is what jammed up against uh, the flywheel because this also is the side that the piston ran where this keeper broke off of. So that would indicate that it came down and somehow made it down into here. And then when it was idling, it jammed up. That's the only thing I can come up with. If you got a better idea, <laughs> let me know. Let me show you the cylinder. Right here, this area right through there where it slid up and down. And I think that that's probably what happened is it came past here and then ended up right in that area. But anyway, it's all in the science, they say. <laughs> Well, that's pretty much it for this update until I get uh, the bearings for the other part of the case, the flywheel there, and then I can start putting that together. Well, this pretty much covers this little episode today. Uh, I showed you how to do a quick uh, leak test on your, on your heads to see whether your valves are seating properly. That pretty much will work on most motorcycles. Uh, there might be an indication of a little wetness inside there. That means that you're leaking past so that you're not getting a, a complete seal. Um, doesn't mean that you can't run them, but if there's a, a, a fair amount of uh, fluid in, in uh, the port area, then you realize that you have a problem there. And kind of the update on the flywheel and what I think that really caused it. I mean, we're still back to having that, that little uh, keeper that had jammed in between the case. It was just, it jammed up on top a little more. So anyway, uh, if you've liked this episode, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget that ringy dingy button over there to, for the next episode coming up. So. This is Mr. Miyagi saying, be safe out there. Hope to see you on the road. Ciao.